but it is what it was and what it do y'all to go jackie from hey jackie beauty and welcome or welcome back to my channel it has been so long the month of april and may have been so crazy so i figured i might as well do a get ready with me just to update you guys let you guys know about more updates coming up later all this kind of stuff so if you guys want to see me get ready for the day and find out what's been going on then keep on watching I also want to make sure you guys subscribe and join the beauty club. I love to have you guys. We're just catching up with life and everything and just kind of putting everything back in order. And so I want you guys to subscribe and also make sure you hit the bell button because things are getting back in order. Videos are coming out. Thankfully, during my break, I've been recording. So I'm excited for all the content that I have for you guys. So yeah, make sure to do that. And yeah. Also, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because when I'm not active here on YouTube, I'm definitely active on those platforms. And so I'll usually give an update there just let you guys know when I'm coming back, so on and so forth. So make sure to follow me on there. I'm Hey Jacket Beauty on all of them except for Twitter. All right, so let's get this video started. Let me first put on some lip gloss because my lips are dry. Hi, you guys. <laughs> So yeah, it feels good making a video that has like the intentions of like catching up and coming back and not just randomly uploading a video, which I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind either. But anyway, I just got out of the shower, just with the clothes I'm wearing today. My hair is still in the bonnet, you'll see that at the end, because that's what I usually do when getting ready. Um, so I washed my face in the shower using my normal um, Michael Todd Beauty Honey and Oats Cleanser. And now I'm going to tone with the Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. So you guys have kind of seen typically what I use for like skincare. Um, I have added a few new products and there's still more that I want to get. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, you guys have definitely seen this toner and this cleanser. So, yep, got, um, I hope we actually should get down in my neck too. Um, here, let's put this top on and then I'll let my face dry a little bit. And so, yes, I'm so sorry I've been gone, you guys. I have definitely been recording videos. Um, I haven't been editing them, but that's just because I have just a lot going on. Um, I don't know if I talk about it much, but I work outside of this. Even though it's just part-time, I work outside of YouTube. And so I work part-time as a nanny. And then also during part of April, not so much anymore in May, I was um, doing work with friends and kind of helping out with graphic design and all of that. So it kind of turned into being like having that part-time plus this part-time and then doing a full-time job. I do freelance graphic design in general anyway, and it was just busy kind of in those months, definitely in March and in uh, April. And so it slowed down in May, but I do definitely have some things I need to catch up on. So um, I definitely feel like I have a better handle on it now. It's just getting ready for summer, and I think that definitely, like, the summertime is gonna slow some things down in a way and speed up some things another way. So, anyway, I have that going on. I have some big announcements um, kind of in that area, too, and so hopefully soon I will be able to share with you guys my big announcement. I think um, I have a few more pieces that need to come into play and a few more things that just need to be taken care of and so once that is all done and taken care of I will hopefully fingers crossed be able to announce by the end of next week so that will be June 1st so yes and also I haven't posted anything about this but don't think I'm unaware it's been a year since I've been on YouTube you guys that is crazy to me kind of very exciting too and also just inspires me to do more i, I mean I, there's a few of my goals that i kind of wanted to have that i didn't like i was hoping to have 52 videos so one video per week um but i didn't have that which is fine because life happens um i'm excited i have 150 subscribers like in a year i feel like that's a lot and so and there's definitely been like moments in time where i haven't been consistent and so that's definitely something that I am 
proud to have. I appreciate and love you guys. I have my followers on Instagram too. I think that's about the same. I think Facebook is still about like 120-ish or something like that. But every person that follows, that subscribes, that engages, that comments, I love it. And I'm appreciative of it. So the toner has dried down. So now I'm going to use this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Sunscreen in Broad, broad Spectrum SPF 30. So, uh, yeah. I like this. It's, I'm almost done with it. I like it, but it's not doing everything I want it to do. I wanted to find a SPF moisturizer that I could use every day that would also be mattifying because my skin is just oily. And so I got this thinking that it would work. Cause my skin does soak it up. Um, I tried a sample of it before buying it. Um, but it just, it doesn't fully do the trick. I still have to wear a, uh, what do you call them? Primer, a mattifying primer. And so, and I probably need to invest in more higher end mattifying primers. I have a lot of low end ones that are okay, but I feel like they don't fully do the job. And also too, one um, product I've been keeping an eye out on is um, Super Goop. Super Goop has a invisible, I think it's Broad Spectrum 40 SPF. Um, that's about the same price. This one, this cream one is about 27 bucks and that's lasted me a really long time actually. It's like several months, I would say since the beginning of the year. Um, and so the goop one I think is about the same, except it's just not in a jar, it's in a tube. And I've had other friends, other specifically people of color, melanated people, who have tried it and said they like it. So I'm going to finish this out and then I end up buying that and get that from Sephora and see how it goes. And so I'm gonna let this settle down a little bit. I try to kind of do like I've learned to kind of pace myself when doing my makeup and let things dry and settle my skin rather than rush and put things on and all that. And so, um, speaking of melanated people, um, I don't know if you guys have been able to listen to it yet, but I was a guest on my friend's podcast, The Rich and Righteous, my wonderful friend Chanel. It was um, a lot of fun with me and her on it. We talked about... Um, Azalea Banks, Donald Glover, the woman in Oakland who calls people about the barbecue and then the fringe barbecue that happened afterwards. All kinds of fun stuff. It was just a fun little podcast and it was enjoyable for me because I feel like I tend to focus more so on lifestyle here on this channel rather than pop culture, specifically like black pop culture. And so, but that's definitely something I'm interested in and involved in. Um, I don't necessarily want this channel to become that, so I like having that outlet. And also, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I'm always retweeting things or commenting on different things that are going on, so. Here I'm going to put on this primer. This is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. I won this from Too Much Mouth. I doubt she watches this, but still, hey girl, love your videos. Um, she had a giveaway. Oof two months ago, two, three months ago, and I won. And it was the Culture Vol... Mm, no, Cult Crush, sorry. It was a Cult Crush box. And so, and it had this primer, um, which I'm using today, the Meat Matrimony, which you guys will see me use also. This is from the Balm. And it also had this Polito Liquid Eyeliner in black, and then it has the, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> and then it has a beauty splen sponge, and then it has a beauty sponge, which is dirty. So I'm not going to use that one today, but I use it because it's dirty. So um, I actually like it more than the Real Techniques blenders that I have, but I don't want to use it today because it needs to be cleaned. And I actually need to clean a lot of my brushes and stuff. But I mostly focus this on the areas that I get oily. So my forehead right here which actually is like super bumpy. My skin has been freaking out because I haven't been on top of my water intake, so I need to actually drink my water, which I have over here. Um, I'm gonna put that all over on my face. 
So now I am going to put on concealer. I normally follow Jackie Ina's um, trick. So um, I'm deciding though which one I want to use. Neither of these really fit me. Um, I feel like the next one makes me look a little gray. This one's a little light. I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal one right now. Um, let's see how it goes. It's definitely, all these concealers are definitely way more like golden. Whereas I feel it's a nice one, not only does it have the shade, like the peaches and stuff to take out the blue, so it's a corrector, but it's also a concealer and it's creamy. Um, NYX is not a dupe for the NARS one. The L'Oreal one, they just don't have enough shades to honestly be a dupe. So I wouldn't say it. The L'Oreal one is definitely creamier than the NARS one. Or sorry, not NARS. The L'Oreal is definitely creamier than the NYX one. And so if you don't like how watery the NYX can be sometimes, I would try the L'Oreal, but other than that, it's not really, it's not really my favorite. And thankfully I have powders and stuff that kind of help correct that. And so what I've been doing is putting concealer under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on the dark parts of my upper lip, and also doing reverse contouring. So over here on the side. On the side. And I tend to do move my mouth instead of doing that. Yeah. Instead of doing that, I move my mouth off to the side, or the, yeah, the opposite side of which I'm putting on concealer because that kind of helps me find the line under my cheekbones. And they're both yeah. even, even though I don't think I put this on evenly. <laughs> I need to go higher on this side. Yeah. That's a little better. Okay, so I put this on and I let it dry. That's a Jackie Ina tip, is to put on your concealer and let it dry. She normally puts on foundation, but for my everyday, I do this more so, rather than put on foundation. It just works better for me. Okay, so while I let this dry, I also sometimes, if I'm feeling fancy, will use my MAC Film Noir blush as a contour. Get in my drawer, get my brushes. So I grab this, and this is the Real Techniques um, contour, no, sculpting brush. Um, don't mind my brushes, I need to clean them. <laughs> They're dirty. I tend not to do my makeup too much, so. I try to keep them clean in the meantime, but it's been busy. And what I do is I just put the contour right above the reverse and just do kind of like a C right here. Sometimes I'll put it around the perimeter, but I'm gonna be wearing my hair out and people will more than likely not see it. Um, and so I'm just gonna focus there. Uh, and I Recently, I've just been using more of the powder than rather than the cream one. It just, I don't know, it just works better for this particular kind of application. I did that, and I think now I can blend it out. I also normally put some on my forehead too, but again, I'm wearing my hair on my head, or <laughs> wearing my bangs out for it, so I don't really need it. Um, so we're gonna take this Real Technique sponge. So I'm gonna blend this out. And so yeah, things uh, haven't really slowed down here. I've actually been really thinking and trying to set up um, the next series for my channel. And so I had a friend who I was talking to, um, hey Gabby, <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this or not, but just talking about how, you know, there's a lot of videos uh, that are out about product reviews, but not many talking about the basics that you would need specifically for curly hair and like setting up your own routine. Um, you know, talking about the basics such as like, what is a co-wash versus um, a shampoo? What's pre-poo? Do I need to do all these steps? You know, do I need to do conditioner and deep conditioner? You know, what types of conditioners are there? You know, cause there's protein based and then there's moisturizing ones. And then there's also like for treatments, do I need to do treatments? 
and for elasticity and stuff and so hopefully in June that's the plan to kind of for me to talk about how I got to my routine and ways that you can get to your routine and figure out things for your hair for yourself um that way when you watch like things like product reviews you kind of can get the gist of like okay is this something I will need or something that's worth buying or should I leave this alone I completely forgot too to put some contour on my nose so I'm gonna put a little bit on there too but um yeah I wanted to do that I am you know doing my own little bit of research that I can you know looking at things and I also have a few friends and people I know who are really into that like science and stuff with hair and so I'm hoping that I can figure out ways and put in a plan for them to be on the channel um because I'm actually like, pretty proud of myself I have been collaborating more with people um not so much on this platform though that's the thing I need to bring more people onto my channel but I have been doing a lot of things on other people's channels which has been a lot of fun I also put this on my chin because I remember one time I highlighted my chin and it just looked so weird. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. So since then I have been putting um, a darker shade on my chin and I like it way more. It looks way better. Um, but yeah, as you can see too, like this concealer, both of them, they just don't, they, they're too yellow. So it makes me look a little bit gray, but when I put on the powder, it'll all be fine. Uh, I am putting on the... Maybelline Fits Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color 40, which is dark. This stuff is amazing. I love hearing even like beauty gurus talk about it. It's a, an amazing drugstore powder. If you are dark skinned like me and are looking for powder, highly recommend. Um, sometimes even I'll do another Jackie Anna trick with this, which is put on my primer, then put on a layer of powder. And it works really well for that too, so. This is just super versatile. Works with everything. And definitely though, always get it on my clothes. Cause I'm just messy. Okay. So I'm now gonna use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to wipe this away, cause I don't bake for long. Um, I definitely like this brush way more than the buffing brush. To me it's just softer and it just does the job. And so what I like about this application is that I feel like it gets rid of a lot of the hyperpigmentation I have on my face without it feeling like it's full coverage. So my skin looks still looks super natural. Like it looks very natural. <laughs> and so I kind of don't have too much of an exaggeration on anything. It just looks like my skin, which I enjoy. So I think that the series that's talking about how to make up your routine or your own regimen for your hair specifically, that should probably be two, three months. I think the drugstore one will be something that just continuously happens um, probably at least once a month on my channel where I just try out new drugstore brands and try, you know, from beginning to end, washing and styling a whole line of products and let you guys know what I think. Yes, yeah, so the next thing I do is put on brows. So currently for my brows, I don't know if you can really see them, uh, I'm letting them grow wild and free again. But this time instead of trimming and plucking them myself, I'm going to get them threaded. And so I actually recently bought, um, ooh, bought this, which is the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I bought this to put on my eyebrows and probably even my eyelashes at night. Um, cause I definitely noticed when I would use oils on my face at night, my eyelashes specifically would like grow like crazy. And so I'm going to try that on my eyebrows, but use something thicker. Cause I just think they just need a little help. They have grown in a lot. Um, but there's still some patches in which I see small hairs coming in, but I just feel like it needs a little bit of help. So don't mind my eyebrows. They'll probably be kind of thick and a little crazy looking, but hopefully within the next month or two, they will be in shape. And so I found a place that's close by where I live that has great reviews. And also to let you guys know, I'm using my normal L'Oreal um, eye pencil, eyebrow pencil in the shade of Brunette. This is the only brown that is perfect for me. 
not too cool and gray looking and it's not too red and muddy looking. It's just the perfect color for me. Um, and I actually, there's actually quite a few YouTubers that use this, which I was surprised. I wasn't expecting that many YouTubers because Anastasia Beverly Hills is taking over with that. So yeah, I think basically what happened with my brows and how I got them so low, I mean, it used to be really, really bad. I mean, you guys remember my videos earlier on. It was horrible. It's because I was a genius and stopped plucking my eyebrows because I didn't like doing that as much. I started using a razor, but I would use a razor when my eyebrows were filled in, which is so dumb. So I would take off, I remember one day taking off the eyebrow makeup and having like, it looked like a crooked light, like twigs of just eyebrow hair and I feel like that really messed up my eyebrow hair and got me to where I am today because my eyebrows used to be flourishing and way better. So if you do trim your own eyebrows, I would say stay away from the razor or if you use it, to not use it when you have makeup on. This is what it's going to be unless I look at it and I'm just like, it's horrible. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone because I just don't have time today. I need to get out of this place. Okay, so what I usually do next is I take my setting spray. So what I did in this bottle, I have a mixture. So this is a Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist and it's mixed with Too Faced uh, Peach Mist. And this is a mattifying setting spray. This is more mattifying than this, but this spray bottle is the worst <laughs> it would work perfectly for me in the beginning and then it got stuck so i switched to this because this spray is amazing and it kind of diluted it a little bit because the mattifying was just a little bit much so this works well for me um i shake it up a little bit i'm gonna have to add some more of the peach mist to it actually in a little bit but And so here I am busting into the Meets Matrimony palette from the Balm. I am going to just put um, Matt Kumar and Matt Reed on the outer corners of my eyes just to give my eyes a little bit more shape. Sometimes I add a little bit of Matt Moskowitz, the purple, which is actually a beautiful crease color too. Um, but yeah, just put a teensy bit on like the outer corner, outer V of my eye, just to give it a little bit more depth. Just deepen my crease a smidgen. And now I'm going to highlight. And so I like to take, this is another brush I got from Ipsy, it's double-sided, and I don't know what the brand is. Of course, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge Kilowatt Highlighter. Um, I have Jackie Ina's uh, Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Le Bronze. I use this when I want to be a little bit more orangey. This is definitely more like rosy, pinky, while um, Le Bronze is definitely more like a little bit more orangey in it. So I'm going to take the pointed side and do my inner corners and do the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow on my lip. And so, um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I also realized that I didn't do my May bullet journal. Um, and that's because I wanted to save and do something special or just something a little bit different. So I'm going to post that on, at the end of the month. Um, and then we'll go back to our regular one for June. And so, um, you'll get kind of like a double dose of bullet journal videos next week. And so yeah, you guys will get those videos and have that. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, I recently straightened my hair. Um, <laughs> actually recently, recently, I recently blow dried and straightened my hair like with a flat iron that I had left over from when I was relaxed. And so for my highlighting on the sides, I just use the Real Techniques Contour Brush because it's really nice. And so I just pat a little bit, pat a little bit here. But yes, my ends were just struggling. They just were really, really bad. And um, 
I just wanted to take care of it and get it done. I had, I think I had stuff going on that week or something where I just didn't have time to make an appointment anywhere. And I had trimmed my hair before, but I've only trimmed my hair um, when it was blow dried. And I definitely noticed that I took off way more hair than necessary and I just didn't do a good job. Cause I was more focused on shaping my hair than I wasn't really like trimming it. So I'm just going over with my expert face brush again just to make sure that the highlight's not like too blinked out because I still want to look very natural. And so anyway, um, I decided to use, I got a new blow dryer. I used that and blow dry my hair and then I straightened my hair with an old flat iron from Ion that I had and just trimmed the ends. Um, the video will not be a tutorial because um, I am not skilled enough in cutting my hair to give you guys any tips. And I definitely think that if you're not in a crunch like me, you should go in and get your hair trimmed. In fact, you should do it regularly and figure out how regularly you need that done. Um, also, just to let you guys know, I used the Matchstick from 50 Beauty and Ridic, and this is gonna be my blush. I put it on the brush first, and then I'm gonna put it on my face. Um, and so, yeah, it will not be a tutorial, but I do wanna share a little bit of the experience with you guys so that you guys at least know what's going on with my hair. And so when you see it, you'll see it's a little bit shorter than what it was before, but it's not super short. I just made sure to focus on um, the ends because, yeah, I was just getting a bunch of single strand knots and um, it just would tangle all the time. My twist outs weren't turning out well. And so you'll see now, like I did a wash and go, and actually turned out amazing. And so, yes, I'm gonna share the results or basically like how good my hair looks. The curls did come back, they didn't, you know, I didn't get any heat damage or anything from it, which I'm very happy about. Um, I probably will end up straightening my hair like this twice a year just to straighten it, give myself a little trim and be good. Um, Otherwise, I'll definitely like go and professionally get it shaped. That's definitely something I cannot do on my own. Um, so right now I'm using the eyeliner I mentioned before, which was the Polito one. I'm doing a mini cat eye. Also, you guys, some people that are really close to me are now watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> and so for me, I've watched the first seven episodes of the first season loved it but just it was a lot so i didn't finish out the season i feel like i should but anyway because i was so interested in the story and i didn't want to take the time to read the books i decided to uh, wiki it and watch clips on youtube don't kill me <laughs> it's just what i did because it's just so it's just so much like i'm very very sensitive to that kind of like realistic killing and that kind of stuff so and a lot of people die a lot of like they really do not care about any of your faves if you have any favorites in there you know just get prepared for the funeral but um anyway i'm using l'oreal's mascara i have no idea what it is i think it's a, one of the infallibles i don't like it so i don't recommend it yeah are there any shows that you guys are watching um my husband's watching westworld I watch it like every once in a while with him. Anime wise, um, we're also now watching My Hero Academia, which is has the third season out now. We're watching it on Crunchyroll. And I love that show. That is about it and all that I do. And this is like more of a, my everyday makeup. I said that probably a million times. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. Anyway, also too. To not leave you guys hanging. My hair looks crazy because I am doing the banding method. I'm still perfecting it so I don't have a video on it yet. But just to show you guys what I've been doing recently. Um, with my wash and goes and actually with my twist outs. I've been banding my hair to see what it looks like. Um, definitely have learned to leave a lot of my ends out and not to band my ends. Um, but we'll see how it goes with this wash and go that I just did. I'm hoping it comes out really well. Look at, I like, this is really good. See, this is, this is a success in banding and I'm glad I recorded it. So I'll talk about it then and see. I'm not sure if I'll band again tonight because usually it's always the second day that I feel like it looks worse than the first. But it looks really good. My hair looks big, it's getting long. 
I'm excited. Okay, so anyway, I am going to go. I think this video, or this get ready with me, is long enough. I definitely might cut it short, so if you guys see parts that are cut out or cut short, that's just because this video went too long, or I'll fast forward through things and have it where I'm not talking through everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this looks really good. This makes my watch it looks super good. Yeah. Yes, I'm happy with it. Let's see, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what shows you guys are watching um, and what shows that you think I would like or be interested in. I am down for the recommendations. Even animes too. Totally up for that. And yes, you guys will be seeing more content coming from me soon. So I can't wait to share all the stuff going on with you guys. Yeah. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.